Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Elements 11 training course. And in this video, we're going to go over the new project settings. Now, the first thing I want to go over are the default settings. Now, these are the ones when you create a new project, uh, Premiere Elements will use these settings for your video. And they might not be what you need. Let me show you an example of that. Over here in Premiere Elements, we have uh, video here, and if you look at the the uh, monitor here, you'll see that there's black bars on the sides of the of the video. Those are called pillar box. That means that the video is wider, uh, the video frame is wider than the actual video itself, and this is actually not, um, uh, this is not, uh, the, uh, the actual size of this video. This, this video, when you bring video in, uh, it defaults scale to frame size. And let me, um, let me go ahead and, and, switch that off. Now watch the monitor up here and you will see what scale to frame size does. This is the actual size of this video compared to the frame size here. And um, as you can see it's it's very small compared to the actual frame size. This frame size is an HD frame size of 1920 by 1080. And this is standard definition television size 720 by 480 so you can see how much smaller this video is compared to the high definition size so what we need to do is we need to come in and create a new project and it's going to remove this video from our project but we'll be able to set our own frame size and we can set it properly to um what this actual video size is and as you'll see we can uh when we go to create a new one we'll go to file new project and we don't need to save changes on this one because they're going to re-import this video file and we have a name here and uh we'll just name it yesterday and it's going to save it into this folder. This is the default folder, and we don't need to worry about about changing it. If you have a very specific need to change it, then okay, but otherwise you don't have to. And the change settings, this is the button that we need, because if you look here, these are the default settings here. It's NTSC, which is uh, United States... Uh, Canada, Mexico, Japan, and a few other places. Uh, it's AVCHD, which is a compression scheme that is used for a lot of uh, video cameras. It's full high definition, which is 1080 uh, video. It's interlaced and it's 30 frames a second. And we're going to go over in just a few minutes what all of these different things mean. But we're going to come in here and do change settings. And you can see that this is the default. That's why it's... Uh, chosen when you go to create a new video. This is the default video um, frame rate and size. So what we actually need for this video is DV video and this is standard uh, DV video and what that is that's the old style of television 720 by 480 and you can actually see the frame size here 720 by 480 and it's 29.97 frames a second. Um, it would be 30 frames, but in a moment we'll go over why it's 29.97. And um, the audio sample rate, 48,000 samples a second. What's that? What that is is um, that is a standard DVD uh, audio sampling rate. So any DVD that you get or it's DVD video, it's going to have that sampling rate. And then we click OK. 
Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure this box here is also checked. Because for selected project setting on this project, if you, if the first video you bring in is a different size or frame rate, uh, Premiere Elements will automatically modify your project to match whatever that first video is. And we want to make sure that it doesn't change at all. Now, if you are, uh, coming in and you're not sure what, what the, uh, properties of your video is, you can leave that unchecked, and when you bring in a file, it it will change your settings automatically to match that video clip, and then you know that it's going to match all the way through. So we want to check this box, so we don't want these prop properties here, NTSC DV standard 48K, to uh, change at all. So we'll click OK. Now I'm going to come into our project assets. And I'm just going to double click on this empty space. And we're going to get our old Super 8 video. Now this one is 16 minutes, 28 uh, seconds and 20 frames, which is way too long for what we need. So what we can do is we can double click this and you'll see it comes up on a, on a little monitor here. But this is way too small for how I want to set this up. So I'm going to put my cursor down in the corner and drag it out so I get a much better view of what's on this monitor. And then I'll just drag along here until I find the spot that I want to start at. And I want to start where these videos are here. These kind of bluish videos. So I'm here, and now I can use my arrow keys and to go forward until we find the exact frame I want to start at. Okay. So I'm just using my left and right arrow keys to find the exact frame. Now I want to make sure that the first frame that I want is showing in the monitor. That way I know when I click set in down here, that'll be the first frame of the video. And I know that I want all the rest of this video, so I'm not going to change the set out. I'm just going to go ahead and close this, and now you'll notice it's 2 minutes, 54 seconds, and 20 frames. So I chopped off about 14 minutes of that video just by doing that. And then I'm going to take, grab this one, and drop it down here onto the timeline. So now we have our video here and you notice that it doesn't have the the black bars on the side because it's not um, it's it matches the frame size here. If I right click here and do scale to frame size, you can see it's it's actually pretty close. It looks like this one was recorded a little bit smaller than normal. But um uh, it's not like way bigger than it should be. So it's not really that much of a difference. It looks like it was recorded um, probably at 640 by 480 or somewhere around there. Um, in fact, we can actually come in and um, come down here and do show properties by right clicking on it. Show properties. Oh, it's 480 by 360. So it's actually much, it's about 25% uh, smaller than the standard frame rate. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I did that just to keep the size down because the size, if, instead of 192, if I would have done it at 720 by 480, it would have been about 600 megabytes. I wanted to keep the size down. And I didn't really lose a lot of the quality because this is very old video and... Um, the source was a VHS tape, which is about uh, 480 by 360 or even uh, 320 by 240 sometimes, depending on the quality of the tape. So, um, when you create a, a new project, it has a, it has default settings that, um, uh, are 1080i, 30, uh, 30 frames a second. And I just want to go over real quick, uh, 